guys. So it is actually day one of MechaCon right now. So the con floor just opened. Um, there's a few gold passers uh, in the hall right now. And um, I'm making buttons because we forgot the box of pre-made buttons. Because we're dorks. But yeah, so that's all that's going on. There's still a few people that need to, uh, you know, set up their tables, as you can see the blank tables behind me. But yeah, so that's pretty much it. So it is uh, about two hours and 15 minutes into the con. And look at how many people have already signed our, our board. That's crazy. So right now it looks like Mystic is winning with 60. And Valor's right behind him with about 48. And Instinct is sadly trailing behind with 34. So, but a lot of people have done the Lugia Alliance, which is really good. So, yeah. We'll see what happens within the next few hours, because everybody's going to tally, which is going to be great. So, it is about 5 o'clock on Friday, and we're actually going to go do our panel right now. Um, but yeah, before we leave, like, that's all of the tallies we have so far for Valor, Mystic, and Instinct. It's like close to 300 people that have, you know, said, hey, we're Pokemon Go players. So it's really cool. Um, so yeah, now we're going to go to our panel and film a little bit of that. And so we'll see you there. Hey guys, so right now we are outside the hotel. Um, we are at the, for some odd strange reason, they have a Winston Churchill statue outside of the Hilton Hotel. I have no idea why. But, so we're out here by the river walk and the hotel and the randomly placed Winston Churchill statue waiting for people to come to our poker walk. So, and what do we do while we're waiting for people to go? We try to hatch our eggs. I'm at 4.89 of a, out of five, so why not try and hatch them? So yeah, that's what we're doing. I know there's gonna be about four or five people coming with us, hopefully, because um, they said they would want to come. So I don't know. Um, but yeah, so we're waiting on them, and we're just walking around the statue and hatching our eggs. So yeah, fun stuff. So apparently nobody really came to our Pokestop, so, I mean Pokewalk, not Pokestop, but that's okay, because, um, you know, we're hoping more people will come to our uh, hangout tomorrow night. So right now we're going to a panel um, all about Ida bags, so I'm really excited about that. Um, Make sure to define that later. Yeah, I'll define it later. It's kind of hard to explain. I'll maybe get them explaining it, uh, you know, hopefully, because we're a little late for the panel, because we met up with some friends to, you know, just kind of say hey and everything. So I'm hoping that he'll explain it a little bit better than I can, because um, basically it's like a fandom bag, essentially. I don't know exactly what, what to call it, but yeah, that's essentially what Ida bags are. And so we're going to learn a little bit more about them and maybe get some swag. Yay!
So you need a bag you will find that has just tons of merch and stuff that you would normally get like in the dealer's room, things that you probably already collect, you just don't even know what to do with. Now you have a really cool way to display it on these really awesome bags. Um, so what exactly goes on an Eda bag? Well, like I said, things that you would find in the dealer's room. So stuff like... Like pins, rubber straps, but it's really anything that you want to put on it. The most asked question I get is what do I put on my bag? You can put whatever you want on your bag. We've seen socks, you know, t-shirts, towels. <laughs> you can put anything, but the most common things are going to be pins and rubber straps and little figures, things like that. Hey guys, so we just came back from the Eda panel and it was really cool. Um, I like the fact that, you know, you could basically do whatever you want with your Eda bags, you know, base it around a certain character, certain color scheme, you know, stuff like that. So I thought that was really cool. Um, the girls are super nice. Um, they answered a lot of questions. And so we're going to go to bed because we have a lot of things to do in the morning. Like I need to put on my cosplay and make some more buttons. So that's gonna be exciting. So I'll see y'all tomorrow.